Intercom is most powerful when you customize it to be about your business and customers. So in this video, we'll show you how to track your user data, allowing you to see who your users are and what they're doing with your product, all in real time. When you install the Intercom code snippet for visitors on your website, you'll automatically see some basic information about the people who get in touch with you via the messenger, like their location or when they last viewed a page on your site. But when a person signs up to your site or app and becomes a user, you can find out so much more about them. Let's start by adding some basic information that will help you identify these users. We've made this easy for you. Just go to your app settings and copy your unique code snippet. Then paste it into the footer of every page of your website or app where you want to track user data, right above the closing body tag, like this. This will now allow you to see your user's name, their email address, and the date they first created their account. You'll just need to update the code here to tell Intercom where it can find this data on your site or app. Don't worry if you're not technical, your developer will be able to help with this. But you don't have to stop here. You can send Intercom whatever data you want, specific to your product and your users. For example, if you've got a music sharing app, you could send us over the number of songs a user has played, whether their profile is public or not, or when their subscription ends. Anything at all that you want to track. We have a simple tool to help you do this, which you can find at the bottom of your filter list in the platform section of Intercom, or by clicking the link above. Here you'll see lots of custom data samples to choose from to help you get started. Or you can create your own. Just give it a name and description, and let us know what type of data it is. A string of text, a number, a true or false statement, or a date. Now click here to get your new code snippet and instructions. If you're not technical, you can copy this link and send it directly to your developer to implement. Or you can add it to your Intercom JavaScript yourself, like this. Now just edit the code here to show Intercom where to find the data in your app. Once you've updated and deployed your code, you'll see the new variables in Intercom. And you can use this new custom data to filter, segment, and message your users. And that's it. So start tracking your user data today. And if you're looking for other ways to get started with Intercom, check out our help center at docs.intercom.com.